Glory, hallelujah, Hosanna in the highest to the Most High God. Welcome, children of God. Hallelujah, royal daughters and sons of God. You are welcome to this message, and I know that the Lord will speak to you. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to keep on moving forward. He is our God. He is the only one we know. When God is the only one you know, ha, hallelujah, he can send an angel. He can touch the hearts of people. He can make those who do not even love you to love you. Hallelujah. They will realize at the end that they don't like you, but they've gone out of their way to help you. God is positioning an angel to help you. Hallelujah. God has already positioned someone and that physical person is an angel to help you. Hallelujah. In these coming days, I want you to be very much awake spiritually. I want you to walk with your eyes open and your ears attentive to the voice of God. He will begin to direct your ways. The steps of a righteous man or woman are ordered by the Lord. And how are you going to see that angel that God has positioned on your way? How are you going to see that angel? How are you going to be directed in the right path by the power of the Holy Spirit? The Spirit of God who does everything for us, hallelujah, who gives us the victory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And when you look at Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, this scripture, I've been sitting with it a lot. And when the Lord dropped it upon my spirit, I knew that God was doing something in my life. And I wanted to be open-minded. I wanted to see what God was up to. And I was so expectant. I said, God, you are saying that you never leave me nor forsake me. You will always be with me everywhere I go. How is God going to be with you everywhere you go? He is with you. He is not going to abandon you because his presence is with you. And wherever you go, if you need anything, God will send someone right where you are to come and help you because God is spirit and he is saying he's not going to leave you nor abandon you. He's going to use people to never leave you nor abandon you. He's not going to forsake you. So anything that is impossible right now, any situation that has come to like a dead end and you don't see any way, God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. In the middle of that situation that is so tough right now, God is in the middle of it. He is making a way where there's no way right now. And he's going to find someone, hallelujah, he's going to find someone, that someone will be so unbelievable. God is going to help you in a way that you even look back. You even stand right there. You even look around and say, ah, God, is it really happening? It's too good to be true. You won't even believe it yourself. People say God will do something that will shock my enemies and surprise my friends. God is able to do something like that. He has positioned an angel ahead of you. And you are saying right now inside of your heart, you are saying, how am I going to be able to come out of this situation? How am I going to be able to fix this? How will this come out? How will I come out of this situation? Now you are talking to yourself, but God says, keep on going. I am not going to leave you nor forsake you. He is spirit, but he has people he can take a hold of to help you, to humiliate that situation, to embarrass it. Yes, there are times that I'm like, God, you have just outdone yourself right here. You have just outdone yourself. Look at you. Look at you. Ha! Huh. This situation is humiliated publicly. I thought I was surrounded by trouble, surrounded by impossible things that I didn't know how they were going to move out of my life. But here I am. I am celebrating. Here I am. The solution has been found. Even where you see no way right now, even if it seems so impossible, God has already broken that impossible situation into pieces, hallelujah, into pieces that there is a way right now. There is a way the Lord has made. There is a way the Lord has made. If you need help, if there is anywhere where you have to go and you need someone to help you, God has already positioned that person. 
And that's an angel I'm talking about. I can tell you my story because this is where it's coming from. And the same God who has done it for me, the same God who is able to do it for you, will do it for somebody else. The same God who has done for millions and the entire universe bows before him. And in the odd, people trusted him. He's trustworthy. He's not going to leave you. He's not going to forsake you. Right now, you might say, I have no one else I know. It's even better. I have no one else who can come through for me. It's even better. Because when you have no one else, God brings the best. God will send the best your way. God will touch the hearts of people and they will come and help you. I'm not saying that you should be an island. I'm not saying that you should just be full of yourself and say, I don't talk to people, I only talk to God. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying when things become so impossible and you do not know what to do and all you know is God, that is enough. That is enough. That is enough, my sister. That is enough, my brother. It is enough. God is enough for you. I remember I was in this situation where I was supposed to go to a municipality to get a document. And, uh, you know, you realize your language in that country is really failing you when you have to go around to deal with bureaucracy, to deal with papers, to deal with documents, and you have to explain yourself. And they will be speaking very fast, and you won't even understand the word. And you'll be like, huh? And there's a queue behind you. People want to be helped. And, and you know, people who are helping, they don't have time to waste. Hallelujah. They are not godly. They are not, they don't have the patience. They don't have the self-control. So you, you are carrying your basket of fruit of the spirit to say, Lord, help me. And uh, let me be patient. Let me not lose it. Hallelujah. You are carrying that basket and you are picking self-control out of it. You are saying, okay, let me be disciplined. Now let me be patient. Let me show kindness. Let me not now be, be humble enough. Hallelujah. Because I need this. My Italian was failing me. What was I going to do? Because I needed these things to be done. My brother-in-law was actually working on that day and it was that day that I was supposed to go and explain myself and get that document because it was the most important document that I needed to do the process and to do everything and um, I didn't have anyone else apart from my friend who was helping me she called me she said look everything is ready the documents are ready and you come I am going to give you all the documents I'll show you where to go. The post office is just around the corner and you go there and uh, I'll tell you what to say and what to do. I'm like, that what to say is what is a problem right here, that one. <laughs> I'll be going with my Google Translate <laughs> to go and translate <laughs> because my Italian is not that very good to be able to speak very fast and deal with these things. You know, when you depending on someone to be dealing with all this bureaucracy, uh, now it's your time to deal with everything. Yeah, you need an angel. And then I was like, God, you either give me the words to speak or you touch the mouth of that person that they are not going to ask me things that I don't know how to explain. And when I enter there, please show up. Jehovah Sabbath. Jehovah Sabbath. <laughs> I'm calling on your name. Please show up. And uh, I was praying and I was going and said, okay, my brother-in-law cannot help me today because he's working. And if I miss this appointment, it means months to come because they give you an appointment and you have to go on that day. If you miss it, you have to make another appointment. And that appointment can come in two or three months and you have to wait. So I was like, okay, God, show up. So I called my friend and I said, I'm coming. And she said, okay, you'll find me. And... I said, okay, uh, I'm in the street almost there. I found her downstairs from her office. What was she doing? Not only to give me the documents, but to take me to the post office 
and she knows people there because she she's been working in this and she's dealing with these people and she knows exactly what to say <laughs> she speaks well than i do and uh, she said let's go she did everything we went there queued up and made sure that everything was done that day i came out of the post office with my receipt to say the document is done hallelujah it is done i came out paid everything that's all i could do on that day just to pay she was talking she was doing everything this is not to say i should be lazy to polish up my italian i'm going to polish up please forgive me but on that day i really needed i really needed help and uh, help came hallelujah this woman that i found in the street waiting for me and saying i am taking you there i'm sure she didn't even understand why she was doing it she left work she asked for permission to say i am going out i won't be here let someone else uh, stand in for me i am going out and she came and she helped me until we finished everything was done and she went back to work who is that who can handle something like that that was god that was god positioning an angel in the form of this human being to help me and my day was what full of joy hallelujah ask and it shall be given the lord will answer so your joy may be full i was smiling i got into the train <laughs> i was smiling to myself i said ish god you eh? ah you are enough you are more than enough you are more than enough you are the only one i know <laughs> even if you are the only one i know you are the only one i know you are more than enough you are more than enough lord thank you thank you i was celebrating inside my my heart i was going back home and uh, that was me and i know that the same god the same situation that looked impossible and i was stressing about it you are stressing right now you do not know what to do but god has placed position an angel ahead of you god has already provided for you keep going keep going keep moving forward even if you feel scared keep going keep moving forward the lord will never leave you the lord will never forsake you he will answer you in the best way he can Hallelujah. In the best way, he will bring the best answer, he will bring the best solution, and that is our God. And right now I came with this message to say the Lord will never leave you, will never forsake you. And you can read Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, you can read Daniel chapter 10 verse 10 to 14, you can read Psalm 91 verse 11 to 12. He will hold you up. You will never be in a situation where you are like how Will I do this? Ask the Lord. He is ahead of you. He is everywhere with you. And this is the message I brought that in the next days, weeks, months, pay attention. Ask the Lord for help. Send an angel God because I do not know how to go about this. I am here. I am depending on you. Help me and let this situation be broken into pieces that I will be able to come out clean and clear in the mighty name of Jesus the solution is already there open your eyes open your ears let your heart be receptive to receiving from the lord because the solution is already there in Jesus mighty name i hope you have been encouraged i hope you continue moving forward because provision is ahead and god is ahead of you hallelujah is with you everywhere you go his presence is with you that's what it means because he's spiritual he is going to send physical people to help you hallelujah thank you jesus blessed be the name of the lord and uh, if you are here for the first time and you have been subscribed yet take time to do so because you have been part of spreading the gospel of jesus christ continue commenting continue sharing your testimonies watch other videos that i recommend at the end of this video stay blessed and i'll see you in the next one bye for now